Hello and welcome YouTube. My name is Misa Perfect and welcome to the first in a three-part series of advanced tutorials for Numantian games that they are billions. In today's advanced tutorial we will take a deeper look into the different units that you can train. The experience required to move your units from normal to veteran, their armor, health, health regeneration rates, and damage output. We will end the video with a few quick tips as well, so stick around. They Are Billions has six different trainable units. Two are available at the start, while the other four require advanced buildings to be researched and built to varying degrees. Further, three of these units are able to become veterans, while the other three have their stats remain the same regardless of their kill count. From left to right, you have your rangers, soldiers, and snipers, all of which can become veterans. Your more advanced units of Lucifer, Thanatos, and Titans stay the way they are. When you begin the game, you will have four rangers and one soldier. Rangers can be trained as soon as you build your soldier center for a cost of 120 gold and two wood. Soldiers are also able to be trained at the start, though they require two iron on top of their 240 gold requirement. Every other unit needs to be researched through additional buildings. Rangers are your default unit and are quite versatile. Their attacks are silent and do not draw the attention of nearby enemies. Rangers are the ideal scout as they are cheap to make and move the quickest of any base unit. The high rate of fire of veteran rangers makes them deadly on their own for lesser zombies or lovely support for a group of slower firing units like snipers or thanatos. Rangers cost 120 gold and 2 wood each. Rangers have the lowest armor rating at 1, a maximum health pool of 60, with a regeneration rate of 2 health for every 5 seconds. The experience required to move a ranger from normal to veteran is 60 kills, base damage of 8 and an attack speed of 1 per second, veteran damage of 10 and an attack speed of 2 per second. Soldiers, like your rangers, are quite versatile. Soldiers are your default unit with guns. Their attacks do make noise and will draw the attention of nearby units. The high rate of fire of veteran soldiers also makes them deadly on their own for lesser zombies. Their high armor rating and health provides more toughness than the ranger, though soldiers can be overwhelmed easily if you're not careful. Soldiers also make fantastic support for a group of snipers and thanatos. Soldiers cost 240 gold and 2 iron. Soldiers have a medium armor rating of 3, a maximum health pool of 240 with a regeneration rate of 3 health for every 5 seconds. Experience required to move a soldier from normal to veteran is 90 kills. Base damage of 15 and an attack speed of 2 per second. Veteran damage of 24 and an attack speed of 2.5 per second. Snipers are the first unit that must be researched. This option can be found in the wood shop. Snipers have a low rate of fire, but their damage output is quite high. A mid-sized group of veteran snipers can hold their ground against large numbers. Their attacks are not silent and will draw the attention of nearby enemies. The high rate of fire of veteran snipers makes them deadly on their own, especially when targeting higher level units like spitters. Their low armor and health can find them in trouble if they are overwhelmed. Snipers have an initial research cost of 700 gold. Snipers cost 300 gold plus 2 iron. Snipers have a low armor rating of 2, a maximum health pool of 150, with a regeneration rate of 3 health for every 5 seconds. Experience required to move a sniper from normal to veteran is 100 kills. Base damage of 100 and an attack speed of 0 0.45 per second. Veteran damage of 110 and an attack speed of 0 0.91 per second.
Lucifers are your default unit that can be trained from the engineering center. The engineering center must be researched from the stone shop. Their midline damage, high rate of fire, and splash damage make them wonderful for burning down large groups of infected. Please do note that Lucifer units are not able to attack from behind walls. That being said, they are best paired with spike traps or razor wire to slow enemies down, as well as a long range support of snipers to target the higher level units like spitters. Lucifers require research and building of a stone shop, foundry, and engineering center. Lucifers cost 600 gold and 10 oil. They have a medium armor rating of 3, a maximum health pool of 400, with the highest regeneration rate of 40 health every 5 seconds. Lucifers are unable to become veterans. Their base damage of 20 and attack speed of 2 per second remain the same. Lucifers do splash damage. Thanatos are the second of three units that requires additional research to unlock. Thanatos are your slowest attacking units, doing less per targeted enemy than the sniper, though the Thanatos does substantial splash damage making them wonderful at long range from behind walls. Thanatos in larger groups deal massive amounts of damage to hordes, best paired with small groups of faster attacking units like the soldier or titan, and a small sniper support group to target higher level enemies. Thanatos units will draw enemies from all around as they make a substantial amount of noise. The Thanatos unit requires a research cost of 2000 gold and the building of a stone shop, foundry, and engineering center. Thanatos costs 600 gold, 10 iron, and 10 oil. Thanatos have a medium armor rating of 4 a maximum health pool of 250 and regenerate 5 health every 5 seconds. Thanatos are unable to become veterans. Their base damage of 70 and an attack speed of 0.33 per second remains the same. Thanatos do a substantial amount of splash damage. Titans are the third and last of the advanced units that requires additional research to unlock. Titans are your fastest attacking units, doing a moderate amount of damage per attack that does splash to nearby enemies. Titans have the highest health, the highest armor, and move quickly on the field making them wonderful units to have. They do however cost a substantial amount of gold initially and the highest cost for upkeep. Titans make a lot of noise like the Thanatos and will draw enemy units from all around. Titans require a research cost of 6,000 gold and building of a stone shop, foundry, and engineering center. Titans cost 2,000 gold, 40 iron, and 20 oil. Titans do have the highest armor rating of 5, a maximum health pool of 600, and regenerate 12 health for every 5 seconds. Titans are unable to become veterans. Base damage of 20 and attack speed of 5 per second remains the same. Titans do a splash damage. At the start of the game, when you have your soldier center recently built, there is going to be the desire to just queue your soldiers up and forget about it. Uh, unless you're looking for a gold sink, try not to queue your soldiers at the start of the game. There are much better uses for money, such as building your walls, expanding your influence, or building additional resource gathering buildings. Every time a unit trains, then train another. Any unit with a gun will make noise as they attack, drawing nearby zombies to investigate. While guns are very powerful weapons with quick rates of fire, units can become overwhelmed easily if you are not careful.
comes time to clear enemy units, micromanaging to spread your units out or grouping your units into smaller groups is much more efficient. If you were to move 14 rangers or 30 rangers or 40 soldiers in one lump, there will be a portion of those units that never get to attack as they'll be balled up in the back. Smaller groups allow each unit to fire on the enemy. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Misa Perfect, and thank you for joining me today for this advanced unit tutorial of Numantian games. They are billions. If you found this video useful, please hit those like and subscribe buttons. If you have any questions, comments, or unit tips, please feel free to place them in the comments section below. Lastly, if you have not already done so, I highly recommend you make your way over to Steam and download this title. It is fantastic.